In this video, I'm going to be showing you the best convertible car seats of 2020 and please watch to the end because the last car seat I review is a car seat that has not been seen in America yet and we're super excited about it. Now, there's a lot of information in this video and you may want to like process it, speak to an expert. So you should email me your questions to questions at mbeans.com or give us a call, let's talk it out, talk to us on the phone, speak to our experts, and you can ask all the questions you want, it's all good, 617-383-8259, or just leave a comment below. So here are the best convertible car seats of 2020. So the first convertible car seat that I wanted to start with today is the Nuna Rava. So if you're searching for convertible car seats, you may not have been doing research on baby gear since you were pregnant, right? But now your child is probably growing out of their infant car seat and you have to figure out what to get. And once again, it is super confusing. So when I think about convertible car seats, I think about them in three different ways. One is how does it install? And as you'll see in a second, the Rava installs preferably with a seatbelt, not latch. Spoiler alert. But they also have convertible car seats that have extended rear facing, having your baby rear facing until 50 pounds. Um, we want our children rear facing in cars as long as possible because rear facing, like having your back to the actual windshield, is the safest way to ride. And the third thing, which Rava doesn't do, is narrowness, whether you want to have the intention of having three across. So those are the three different types of convertible car seats that you can get. So let's start with the Rava, which is our most popular car seat at Magic Beans. And by the way, all of the car seats you're gonna to see today are available to buy from us at Magic Beans with free shipping. But the Rava is, um, like I said, has two of those characteristics I'm gonna show you. So the Rava is a, like I said, our most popular. The place that makes the Rava it makes over one third of the world's car seats. So they really know how to make a car seat. Uh, things about it. Like I said, it's extended rear facing. Something to enhance the extended rear facing is that you can actually extend, you can extend the footrest for um, for extra leg room. So I'm gonna turn this seat around. Convertible car seats go rear facing and forward facing. That's why they're convertible. So this is in the forward facing position, but in the rear facing position, you turn it around and there's a gray button that you push that reclines it to the correct position. And like I said, that, that extended rear facing is with those two extra inches. But the thing about this car seat, which makes it kind of unique and really easy to install for you or for your mom or for the babysitter is that you can install it with a seatbelt. Now you may have a Nuna Pippa for your infant car seat, which clicks in with those Isofix latches. If you've seen those videos on the channel, I'm sure you know about those Isofix latches, which we talk about all the time, but the, for this one, you're gonna install it with a seatbelt. The way it works with car seats is that if the combination of the child and the and the seat are over 65 pounds, you can't use those latches, those lower anchor and tethers anymore. You have to use a seatbelt. So there, you open up the fabric. There's a little snap, you unsnap it. You open up this little door. You pull out the cup holder. Yes, it comes with a cup holder for the sippy cup and you click it in. And then what you do is you take out just a tiny little bit of slack, push down the blue door, and then pull the seatbelt out to the end, switch over the retractor, and now you are installed. Really, really easy. So you may think like, should I use a seatbelt? The latch is so easy. Using the seatbelt, number one, keeps adults like secure in the car. So it's gonna work really well with the Rava. A non rethread harness on the seat very comfortable and beautiful upgraded textiles and rear facing to 50 pounds. Again, this is not an installation video. This is just for demonstration purposes. But now let me show you another car seat that has a very similar installation system. It's the Britax Boulevard Clean Comfort. So this is the Britax Boulevard Clean Comfort. Just so you know, I do full reviews of all of these products on the channel. So this is just your general overview to help you compare them. But if you want a more in-depth look, I, su I suggest that you subscribe today. Some of the videos are on the channel, some we will be coming out over the next couple of weeks. So definitely subscribe and ring the bell. Okay, so here is the Britax Clean Comfort. Um, these are made in the USA, which is really great. And this is not extended rear facing. This is rear facing to 40 pounds. But similar to the Rava, this has a seatbelt installation system. It also has 
an anti-rebound bar. That's actually a fourth component to a convertible car that I didn't mention. Slows the forces in the reverse direction when the so it stops rebounding. I'll show you in a second. And also just stabilizes the car seat even more. So to open up the, the secret compartment, you push this little dial and you twist it. It opens up. There's an anti-rebound bar, which you can just attach. So this like slides right in. Now, as you can see, that anti-rebound bar is flush against the back of the seat. And then what you do is you take your seatbelt, similar like I showed you with the Rava before. Um, with the Rava, as you saw it, you put it through the cup holders with the, with the Britax, you floss it through. Floss, 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 dental floss. Floss it through. You floss it through, anti-rebound bar. And for 2020, they added this clean cover material, which is washable, dryable, and very, very breathable. There's a non rethread harness, so it's very easy to adjust as your child gets bigger. So the Rava and the Britex Boulevard are all, have been exi in existence for a whole bunch of years now, especially the Britex, but the Upper Baby Knox is new for 2020, brand new for 2020. You may have a Vista or a Cruise or a Mini or a G-Lux or even Upper Baby Mesa event car seat and people have been asking for Upper Baby to make a convertible car seat and they did a fantastic job. So similar to the Rava and the Boulevard, you have a seatbelt installation system. What you do is you unzip the two pieces. There's a little snap uh, Velcro, you unvelcro it, and it exposes the, the seatbelt installation system. What you do is similar to the other two things, you route the seatbelt through, you pull tight and lock it off. But the other things that make this, this car seat kind of unique. They do have latch connectors included, but that seatbelt is the preferred method of installation. Oh, and also it is rear facing to wait for it, 45 pounds, so not 40, not 50, 45 pounds. Still, that is, can be like an old child. And again, we want older child. We want people to, we want kids to be rear facing as long as possible. Can't emphasize that enough. So something that is new and different about the Upper Baby Knox is the multi-directional tether. Now car seats typically have tethers that help with the, with the forces in the forward facing position, but when you're in the rear facing position, they don't have these types of tethers. So with the multi-directional tether, what you do, and it's yellow because they want you to use it. You pull this all the way out. You route it around. Put it behind the seat. Again, this is not an installation video. You want to make sure that this strap is perfectly straight. And so when this is attached properly, it actually reduces the rotation by 38%. So it's super safe. Think about it. Your, your car, your child is rear facing and it's moving in this direction. And that multi-directional tether keeps it sort of secure in back in the direction towards the back of the seat, which makes it extra safe. non rethread harness, which is super awesome. And also they have this innovative um, technology in the base called Coroid, which also improves the safety of the Upper Baby Knox. They also include this really super awesome infant insert, which you use up to 25 pounds. So this is the Klek Fum. So this has two different characteristics. Number one, it has that extended rear facing to 50 pounds, similar to the Rava that we saw previously, but it's only 17 inches wide. So you can get three of these across. They also make the Collect Flow, which is also a, a, a car seat that I love. Um, it really could be in this video as well, but for expedience sake, I'm just gonna show you the Foom, which is their sort of premium premier car seat um, that looks very similar. Um, and also is rear facing to 50 pounds. So it's 17 inches wide, rear facing to 50 pounds. And also they added an accessory called a Q tether, which is similar to that multi-directional tether that's on the Upper Baby Knox. So these are all these different components we're thinking about. Multi-directional tethers, rear facing to 50 pounds, narrowness. Um, if you have any questions, you can email me your questions to questions at means.com or give me a call so we can talk about this. So this is, again, this is just an overview, but we're, we'll go more in depth when we speak on the phone. So the deal with this is um, when, let's talk about this in the forward facing position first and then the rear facing position. So they have, um, this is something unique about this um, car seat is that they have isofix. It's, if you have a, a Nuna Pippa, it's a very similar system. You pull out from the front and the isofix latches come out. Oh, also if you have a Klek Ling, they have this technology on their own infant car seat as well.
Shout out to Clark. Click in the Isofix and with one click, you're installed just like your Clickling or Nuna Pippa. Oh, by the way, I haven't shown um, adding the rear tether to this. Always install the rear tether when you install a car seat. Again, it's not a car, car seat installation video, but there are rear tethers that you click to the back. Always use a rear tether. Um, there isn't a non-rethread harness of it, but this is the Full Moon, their new fashion for 2020. It has um, a, a flame retardant free merino wool, beautiful navy. Absolutely gorgeous. It'll look really great in your car. And the other thing about this, um, so that's in the rear facing, in the forward facing position, isofix, use a tether. Oh, also in the forward facing position, you, in, you in engage something called the react system. There is actually a crumple zone. So when you're in a crash, the energy of the crash doesn't go to the child, it goes to the body of the seat. Steel reinforced frame, EPP foam, the highest quality foam, which really makes this one of the premier car seats on the market. But then let's talk about the rear facing position. You, these two little red tabs in the front room, like unlock the, the latch, the isofix. Okay, so in the rear facing position, you're gonna reattach this white wedge. Really easy to do. Oh, also, I'm not gonna show it in this video, but there is an anti-rebound bar that you also attach to this in the rear facing position. But again, this is just for a quick demonstration for it. Um, anti-rebound, oh, you also can recline it. Recline the seat, great. So picture, anti-rebound bar, reclined seat. But what they did for 2020 as a new accessory, similar to the multi-directional tether of the of a Baby Knox is a something called a Q-tether. Let me show you what that is. Here is the Q-tether. This is how this thing works. Okay. On the one side of it, you have this little tether attachment situation. Attached to the back of your car. And then it goes to one of these metal yokes. In your car, you want to pull this just so this goes right behind the, um, right to the back of the headrest. Imagine there's a headrest here in the back of your car. So that yoke goes to here. And now you have this part here. This is the actual Q tether loop thing. What you do is this, you remove this from the yoke. And what you'll want is you'll want the actual adjustable strap to be by the door of the car. So this is on the side of the car. There's the door. You're going to have this come around over here you have the locking clips put it through the locking clips have it come around this is obviously not a car I'm just like showing you the basics of this okay folks so you put this back into the um, into the yoke into this metal yoke okay loosen it back up And here you go. So you now have this tether holding this back. So you have the anti-rebound bar and you have the tether holding the seat in this direction. So when you're in the rear facing position, if you're in a crash, it's gonna just imagine pulling it and holding it tight. So this is just a general overview of how this new Q tether um, piece works. If you have any specific questions, you can give us a call or leave a comment below. We can talk more about the Q tether, but that's a pretty cool innovation from Click for, 2000, from Click for 2020. Finally, this is a really legit Serona S. It's actually a pre-production sample from our friends at Cybex, but this car seat does something that none of the other car seats in this video or in America do. So in Europe, Cybex is a European brand, a German brand that is actually has, there's there are different safety ratings in Europe than there are in America and Cybex's car seats always rate among the highest. They're really, really known for their safety. And this Serona is a version of it in, in Europe. They finally brought it to America. And like I said, this has something that no one else has. It's a swiveling car seat with a load leg. <sighs> Can't believe it. Let me show you how this works. Okay. You may have a load leg on your infant car seat, like a Pippa or maybe a Click Ling or you know, a Cybex Cloud Q even. This one has a load leg too. Load leg. So again, it reduces it reduces the, the forces going forward. So if it's a forward 
it stops, it slows down the forces in this direction. And then also in the rear facing position as well, I'm about to show you how this thing swivels. Really, really cool. So in the forward facing position, up to 65 pounds, non rethread harness, beautiful tailored textiles. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous seat. As Cybex is known for, it's a very, not only high safety, but also high fashion. There are, um, they have an LSP system as they would. Cybex many times puts extra side impact protection on the side. You press right here, that pops out. And so there's a three layers of side impact protection. You push that back in and put it in if you want to stow that away. But let me show you how this thing swivels. You may swivel it in a number of reasons. So if you are putting your child into the car, you squeeze under here, you push this all the way back. There's a little window indicator here that says you can so you'd see it's in the unlocked position. So you're not going to drive obviously in the unlocked position. You only want to drive in the locked position. You will swivel the seat towards you. You could put your baby into the car, buckle them in, yada, yada, yada. And then what you can do is you can swivel them back into position, back to the forward facing position or the rear facing position. So there's only one install you'll ever have to do. So with other convertible car seats, you have to un un uninstall it to go from rear facing to forward facing. But in this one, you can go back and forth. If you have kids of like, this is a great car seat for grandparents because you'll, you'll see in a second, it's also easy to install. But also if you have kids of varying ages, have the forward facing position, older kid in the forward facing position and rear facing for younger kids. So you can go back and forth. It's pretty cool. So now I'm here in the rear facing position, squeeze again, and it gets, and it goes right back into place in that rear facing position. You want the straps at the shoulders and below when it's in the rear facing position. So you just lower down the non recurrent harness. They also, as Cybex car seats do have sensor safe on it. So that is a technology that works with an app so if you were to, or someone were to leave your child in a car unattended and it got hot, it would note that and would send you a ping that, that you left your child behind. It's pretty cool. Are you with me? Like this is so many things so far. So it has a, it has a load leg, swiveling car seat, rear facing to 50 pounds, extended rear facing. And also it has that seatbelt installation. Another thing about this car seat, there's an integrated rebound uh, rebound bar, the rebound plate. So the actual, there's a, this extension to the back of the seat that goes against the back of the seat, which again, um, helps the security and the safety of the product. But let me show you how a demonstration, this is not an installation video, but how the basics of how to install this thing. Again, you're only doing that one time. So you take it and you, bring it back to that sort of unlocked position. There's a little window here, a little door here that you open up, you remove it. And in here is a tensioning plate. If you're familiar with the Cybex um, bases, there are tensioning plates in that. So what you do is you just open this little gray piece, undo the orange lock, so whether you're using seatbelt to install or whether you're using latch, you can use the tensioning plate to ensure that you are installing it like safely and securely every time. They have these really cute little red pulls to remove the latch from the, to remove the latches. So I'll just do that. Put one in. So I've put, I've installed both latches. Um, I'm just gonna take out a little bit of slack. Now I'm just gonna push down this um this tensioning system until the orange clicks back and now i have it installed and secure really easy to do like i said you can do the seatbelt you can do the latch and it's only done once so you know that so you don't have to reinstall it um, when you have to sort of move it from the rear facing position to the forward facing position it's really cool like i said i do a full review of this on the channel which you can check out but it is new for 2020 and i imagine that there will be more seats adopting this technology over the next couple of years so when parents want to buy a convertible car seat they typically also want to buy a lightweight stroller to go with it because you no longer are clicking your infant car seat into a stroller anymore i'm really sorry about that i know that's that's a lot. So the good news is I've done a video of the best lightweight strollers, which you can watch right now.